Let's graph the linear equation x plus y equals 4. And we're going to use slope-intercept formula to do this. You can use a table of values as well. There's a link at the end of this video to help you do that. So let's do this with slope-intercept formula. We have x plus y equals 4, which isn't in slope-intercept formula. We need to rearrange it so we have it like this here. So we need to get x over here on this side. So let's subtract x from both sides. And we end up with y equals 4 minus x. So we want this slope-intercept formula here. So let's move the x over here and the 4 over here. So now we have slope-intercept formula. We have the x, then the m. There's a 1 in front of the x. We don't usually write it, but it's there. Slope-intercept formula. So the y-intercept is 4. So we're going to go to the y-axis and 4. That's where we intercept the y-axis. Next, we have our slope is negative 1. But it's real helpful to call this negative 1 over 1, because then we can call this rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept here. We're going to rise 1, except we have a negative 1 here. So we end up going down 1, and then we run 1 here to the right. So we rise negative 1, which means we go down, go to the right, and you can see we have our points here. Likewise, you could go the opposite direction. You could go up and then to the left one, up to the left. And you can see all these points are on our line. So we've successfully graphed x plus y equals 4, or you could say y equals negative x plus 4, either way. Let's put a line through that. Then we'll put arrows here to show that this goes to infinity. And that's the line for x plus y equals 4. Again, if you used a table of values, you'd get the same line here. This is Dr. B graphing x plus y equals 4 with slope-intercept formula. Thanks for watching.